Welcome back to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. In this video, I want to show you a little trick that I learned on how to make your sweeping extra precise. And to be more specific, the part where you're using the broom with the dustpan. So we're in our garage and we have our broom and our dustpan and a surprise visit for my daughter's soccer ball. Anyways, back to the sweeping. And sometimes with these old dustpans, they don't have a really nice lip right there. And so dust gets underneath that when you're trying to sweep. And sometimes it can even happen if you have a dustpan with a rubber lip edge on it. And this little tip will work whether you are in the garage like we are now, or an even better when you're in your house and you really wanna make sure to get up all the dust. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any cleaning tips and hacks. But for now, let's jump right into the video. So I know y'all know how it is when you are sweeping a floor and there's a lot of dust, especially really fine dust, and you are sweeping it into your dustpan and you sweep and then put your dustpan back Back and then sweep and then pull your dustpan back. And no matter what, you always have just a little bit that's left over right there on the floor. Oh, I hate that so much. Now the dustpans with the rubber lip do do better, I admit, but there's still always just a little bit of dust left behind. And then you know what we all do? When we see that dust there, we just sweep it off to the side and kind of blend it in and pretend it wasn't there. I know you've all done it. I've done it myself. So here's a really simple thing that you can do. Just run inside, grab yourself a paper towel, get it really wet. Just squeeze it off a little bit just so it doesn't drip all over your floor and then head back out to your dustpan. Lay the really wet paper towel halfway on top of the dustpan and halfway over the concrete or the surface that you are trying to sweep up. Make sure the paper towel is sticking onto the surface that you're trying to sweep and then use your broom and you just sweep it right up. It picks up so much more of that dust and fine dirt because it all will stick to the paper towel. It makes the cleanup a whole lot easier. Now I know you might be thinking that it's not such a big deal if you're working outside in the garage, but here is a perfect example of why this is really important when you're cleaning inside. This is a real life mess that happened to me just yesterday. My daughter accidentally knocked over one of my lighting stands and the light bulb broke and got all over my floor. And there you see that little line of glass that won't be picked up with the dust broom and the dust pan. So I've got a really wet paper towel here. I'm gonna lay that down right in front of that line of small glass shards and that is gonna help to pick up all those little tiny pieces that were left behind because I do not want that on my floor when I've got little bare feet kids running around. Of course, I am going to go through, I'm gonna sweep it again and I'm gonna mop it again just to make sure that we got everything. But holy cow, look how much better that is. Look how much more that that picked up. Anyways, I hope that helps you when you are doing your sweeping. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. And hey, if you've decided that you are done with the old mopping and sweeping method to clean your floors, I actually have a product that I've been using for about a year that I can't imagine life without. It's called a vacuum mop and it has been life-changing for me. I've made a video all about the review of this product. I'm gonna link to that video right here. Go check it out, you guys. It's amazing and it really makes cleaning your floor so much easier. So I'm gonna link to that video right here, click on that and I will see you over there.